Okay, so now I'm going to talk about a cool search, a way of searching that is really, really helpful and is totally different than what we've talked about so far. It's the best feature of Google Scholar and it can save you so much time. It's called citation mining, but the concept is actually quite simple. It's really just taking advantage of the research and the literature searching that others in your area have already done. What we're going to do is learn how to mine the cited and citing articles on highly relevant references that you find. So say, for example, you find a great article on your topic, but it's a little too old. It was published in 2012. If you look at the references list of that article, things will be even older, right? You're going to see 2006, 2007. Um, so those aren't much help. But what if there was a way to take your great article that was published in 2012 and look forward in time to find later articles that cite your article in their references list? Um, that would be super helpful. And believe it or not, there's a way to look into the future and to do that. Just a little vocabulary before we do that, though. Um, when we say cited references, that means we're going backwards in time. But if you see cited by, Time cited or citing references get excited because get excited <laughs> no pun intended because those terms mean you're going forward in time cited by time cited or citing those are all the forward in time words and so what we're going to do is we're going to go to Google Scholar and we're going to look at this good article that is very old it was published 2001 and we're going to learn how to see the future. Okay, so now I'm going to go to Google Scholar to try this citation searching out. And a great tip is to always go to Google Scholar from the library somehow, whether you choose databases and choose Google Scholar from this drop down menu, or if you're on the Health Sciences Library page, you can scroll down and see it here, or it's also on subject guides. If you do this, you're making sure that it recognizes you as an ISU student. Now, Scholar is free to everybody, but if you're recognized as an ISU student, it will also give you links to the subscription content, the full text article content that ISU pays for on your behalf. So I'm going to go to Scholar that way. And I am going to just grab the title of that really good article from 2001 that I want to read. I'm going to paste it into the search bar, the entire title, and just run the search. That scholar is very good at finding articles from title searches. And you can see this article came up. Also want to direct you to the fact that because I went to Scholar from a library website, it's giving me this find it at Idaho State U link. Anytime you see this link, it's good news because this means Scholar is trying to connect you to ISU's subscription full text content for this article. So I'm just going to quickly click it and see if I can actually get to the full text. I haven't tried this before. Yeah. So it went directly to the Annals of Emergency Medicine, which is where this article is from. And then I would just go to the relevant issue and download the paper from there. OK, but what I really wanted to show you is that when you're looking at an article in Scholar, um, look for the cited by. This one has been cited by 727 other articles. Now it's old enough that that actually isn't a surprise, right? Because it's had a long time to gather citations. If I click on this, you'll notice that these 722 results load into the results page. Now 727 is way too many to look at. But what I can do from here is I can run a search within just this set of articles. So if I click this box, search within citing articles, you'll see that a change happens up here. Um, I'll do it again so you can watch this box. Now the box just says search citing articles. So I know if I put a keyword up here, it will only run through this set of 727. Um, yeah, let me just search for intubation. So now we're down to 654. What about survival rates? Now we're down to 356. Um, yeah, 
pre-hospital intubation on survival. Now we're done to 355. I can also use these to limit to the last five years. Now we're down to 65. How about since 2019? Now we're down to 21. And so I can, um, timing, da da da, I can learn more if I just scroll down. So that is citation mining. It's an awesome, awesome tool to use to find good, other good articles if you have an old article.